This is a case that we did to restore a patient's bite with dental implants. This is an x-ray showing the situation when we first saw the patient. The lower molars were missing for a very long time, and so the uppers had super erupted quite a bit into the missing space. We made a plan to do an implant surgery, so we placed five dental implants, two into the mandible and three into the maxilla. The mandibular surgery was conventional and went on fine. Upper was an immediate surgery and we were happy with that as well. We gave the site three to four months to heal and then we got the patient back and took a scan. So here's our trios scan and we're satisfied uh, with the parallelism of the scan bodies. I, I, I do uh, intraoral scan flags. I don't, I don't do uh, PVS impressions. And then I'm gonna send this off to my designer and he's gonna design the actual parts. So the quad one and quad four bridges. And then uh, once he sends me back the STLs, I'm gonna put them into my milling machine. I have a Roland 52D in my clinic and so that's gonna mill out the parts. It can look something like this. And then I'm gonna desprue the parts with a lab handpiece and here's the two bridges in the green state before they get sintered and another shot from the occlusal view going to center them for about 14 hours at 1500 c and then uh, bond the uh, tie bases these are tie bases that allow for about 25 degrees of angle correction because the driver has a it's a torx it's a ball nose torx and it can torque 35 newton centimeters even at 25 degrees and then here's the clinical photos quad one gums look happy quad four there is a buccal lesion on the 4-5 that we ended up restoring. And then uh, here's the uh, implant bridges installed with the patient biting down. And then quad 4. And then quad 1. Probably could have gone a shade darker, but the patient was happy.